Today's focus is on residents and global outreach. You'll hear interviews from outstanding residents, including Resident Council Chair Dr. Jessica Kozell. Creating the bridge to a future focused on connectivity, science, and international outreach. These are some of the dynamic issues you'll experience during the five days of the 2010 American Society for Clinical Pathology annual meeting. On the international side, Dr. Lee Hilborn will share his ideas and experiences on improving healthcare worldwide. Let's begin our memorable journey. The future is here. Today, ASCP President Dr. Mark Stoller transferred the office of ASCP President to Dr. John Tomaszewski. In his inaugural address, President Tomaszewski spoke about ASCP volunteers like Carol Moore and Ian Lemieux, who were inspired by ASCP to move from education to action. In their own unique ways, both are giving back to others internationally by sharing their skills to improve labs for accreditation and enhance education. Today also celebrates residents. Sessions specifically designed for residents focus on the job market and skills for performing as pathologists and consultants on the healthcare team for improved patient care. Exceptional residents received awards for research and for the hotly contested poster presentations. During my second year of pathology residency, I applied for the subspecialty grant program. And I got to travel to University of Pittsburgh and study with Leon Barnes and head and neck pathology. I learned pathology in a different setting than my home institution, a place where there were um, over 30 pathology residents versus the 11 at my programs. Well, it means quite a lot. It shows that what I do in my residency program back home is very important. Um, it also helps me when I want to apply for fellowships and for jobs that it can be part of my CV as putting it as uh, under the award section of something that I've won specifically for the ASCP. It's a proposal of processing these specimens differently. It's a standardization of processing similar to what is uh, being practiced with ductal carcinoma in situ. It's a bold move to processing these specimens differently. As, as a resident, I think there's really no, no downside to joining. Uh, membership is free. Um, you have discounts on educational courses, uh, discounts on books. Um, and the ASCP has um, so many things they offer for residents. They have uh, their review course. Uh, they have this annual meeting. They have the weekends of pathology. Um, it just gives you much access to things out there. And, also, they have a lot of um, awards and scholarships that they offer, and that is a wonderful opportunity, especially for certain residents that may not have um, certain specialties uh, in their program. Many of our members who've lived in this country haven't had the opportunity to travel to other parts of the world. And it's a really much bigger world out there than we experience here just in the United States. One of the things that you realize, frankly, is that we're all the same. We all have the same goals and desires. Um, and, and things that we want to accomplish in life. And, and while our cultures may be different and our approaches may be different, we're all people. And, and one of the things that you learn is whether you're in Asia or the Middle East or in Africa or Europe, that we really all have a common bond as, as humans and us particularly as laboratory professionals. ASCP is looking for more laboratory professionals with management and education skills to volunteer for traveling to resource-limited countries. Start giving back and find out how much you can gain in return. ASCP advocates for public health. First, the entire laboratory team needs to be respected by other healthcare providers. This respect earns the team a seat at the table for discussions about public health, where providing the correct test results and diagnoses for patients are absolutely critical. Second, ASCP is helping laboratory professionals and pathologists find solutions for the workforce shortage now to prevent future problems. ASCP is creating strategies to advance health through international outreach and certification to improve the skills of laboratory professionals. ASCP is strengthening the processes for developing countries to achieve laboratory accreditation. Continual improvements of ASCP educational courses will prepare the entire laboratory team to move toward patient-centered care, molecular diagnostics, and personalized medicine. A meeting was awesome. <laughs> this is my first experience to attend the ASCP annual meeting. So I was so amazed because every single conference that they speak very good uh, direction for the future. So what we have to do, what we have to think about for patient, also not only patient but also for our profession. So our future is bright. 
Tomorrow you will hear more about where the entire laboratory team is headed. You will learn about dynamic developments to accelerate the profession's progress at the 2011 annual meeting when ASCP hosts the World Congress of the World Association of Societies of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine in Las Vegas from October 19th to the 23rd. International Outreach, Science, Connectivity. The 2011 American Society for Clinical Pathology annual meeting held from October 19th to the 23rd in Las Vegas focuses on science and connectivity through an international lens. Save the dates for an exceptional educational experience like no other. For the cultivation of international outreach, for the first time, the ASCP hosts the 26th World Congress of the World Association of Societies of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, attracting attendees worldwide. Called A Global View of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, it addresses how pathologists and laboratory professionals are rising to new global challenges. Registration opens in January 2011 for A Global View of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, October 19th to the 23rd, 2011, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Save the dates today for an exceptional educational and networking experience like no other.